uh, hi everyone in this uh, small video tutorial we will talk about the Boltzmann distribution so let me give you the concept uh, for Boltzmann distribution so suppose uh, if we have a particle suppose this is a particle and there are two uh, places so this is uh, our region 1 and this is our region 2 so this is region 1 and this is uh, region 2 so the particle might uh, have higher interaction in region 2 as compared to region 1 so what does it mean by higher interaction for for, for, for example let's look at this uh, suppose this is a surface so this molecule might be attracted to the surface and if it's attracted to the surface then the potential of this molecule is much lower uh, when it is near the surface as compared to when it is away from the surface so when it's away then it tends to or it would like to come closer to the surface however because of the entropy all the molecules will not be very close to the surface and some of the molecules will be also in the region one not all of them will be in the region two and but when you look at the overall uh, con concentration of these molecules then this region will have more molecules as compared to this region and so this region will have higher number of molecules so this is uh, so when you so Boltzmann distribution will give us the distribution of the molecules in the region 1 versus region 2 as a function of the chemical potential so so what does the chemical potential mean so as i explain so as i explain the chemical potential is the interaction of a molecule with the surrounding mediums so so, so, so in this case it will be the interaction of the molecule with the surface so let's um, uh, define boltzmann distribution so this is uh, defined as uh, rho 1 is equal to rho 2 uh, exponential mu1 minus mu2 uh, divided by kt so this is a kt so where k is a Boltzmann constant and uh, t is our temperature so as you can see higher the temperature is higher will be the entropic factor so this uh, this number also I have to say so everything is in the exponential so as you increase the temperature the exponential uh, will decrease and then in that case uh, the row 1 will be closer to row 2 or, or the difference between the region 1 and region 2 will be lower however as you increase the potential difference then this uh, difference will be higher so um, uh, so let's uh, take an example of the earth so if we have so this is a uh, earth and we have a uh, region uh, two regions so suppose uh, this is region one and this is region two and then these two regions have a distance of h so what is the so now you as we know that all the molecules on the surface of the earth are attracted to the earth and this potential is given by m g and h where m is the mass uh, g is the gravity and h is the height so if we talk about these two regions then the difference of the potential between the two regions will be given by this mgh which is the distance of height between the two regions so in that case the density of the air will be equal to uh, rho 1 uh, is equal to rho 2 exponential of minus mgh divided by k and t so let me see uh, am i doing it correctly so um, if uh, 
so row one should have higher um, density as compared to a row two so yes so this does make sense your exponential here is uh, greater than one Uh, hi everyone in this small video tutorial we will talk about the Boltzmann distribution so let me give you a, a basic uh, concept so suppose if we have a particle so suppose if we have a particle and uh, we have two regions so suppose let me know the regions so this is uh, region 2 And this is region one. So this particle can be in region one or region two. So um, now suppose there is a surface, and this particle is attracted to the surface. So in this case, the particles will tend to segregate near to the surface. So most of the particles should come to region one. However, there is an entropic effect and the molecules tends to go to a random uh, distribution or they want to be randomly distributed so in this case some of the molecules will try to go to the region 2 so this randomness increases with the increase in temperature because when you increase the temperature then the energy for every molecule increases or its kinetic energy increases and that will uh, uh, result in more randomness and because of the interaction with the surface uh, these molecules will tend to segregate to the region one and this distribution so let me draw so there will be more particles uh, in the region one as compared to region two so this difference uh, of the distribution uh, of particles between region one and region two is given by the Boltzmann uh, distribution equation so how does so suppose this is a uh, row one row density of molecules and this is row two density of molecule in region two so it will be given by uh, It 
it will be given by uh, row 1 is equal to row 2 exponential of minus mu 1 minus mu 2 divided by k t so mu 1 or mu is a chemical potential to understand the chemical potential so chemical potential is the interaction of the molecule uh, with the environment and in this case if it, we are looking at the interaction with the surface then the potential or the interaction of this surf of the solute or this particle with the surface is called it will be its uh, chemical potential so when this molecule is more um, in region 2 its chemical potential will be much higher as compared to when it's in uh, region 1 and uh, then the distribution is given more like uh, rho 1 is equal to rho 2 and exponential of this term and here you can see the t is in the denominator so when you increase the temperature the exponential will be more uh, closer to 1 because when we increase the temperature this this uh, term uh, will be more negative or more smaller and the more it's smaller then the exponential will be closer to 1 and in that case rho 1 will be equal to rho 2 so if you can increase the temperature yeah, that tends to make or result in a homogeneous distribution but as you increase the difference in the potential that tends to result uh, in the um, preference for one region as compared to region 2 and again let's see this so if you so now you are saying like region 1 uh, has higher uh, chemical uh, lower chemical potential than region 2 so in this case uh, so this is uh, this is smaller and this is higher so this term will be negative and then so this will be positive so we will have exponential and that will result in rho 1 so in this case if you calculate this so rho 1 will be greater than uh, rho 2 because exponential uh, term is greater than 1 uh, so um, and as you increase the temperature exponential term uh, decreases so then uh, so rho 1 minus rho 2 uh, goes to 0 so this is how the Boltzmann distribution is described so let's take a practical example so now let's take the earth surface so if we have a earth surface and we have uh, molecules uh, so let's come look at this one as a region 1 and and this one as a region 2 and then this is a distance of height between region 1 and 2 and that is given by h so as we know that uh, each molecule is attracted to the earth surface because of the gravity and that gravitational force is given by mass uh, into gravity uh, mass into acceleration so m is the mass and g is the gravity and then the difference of the potential so this so if you if you have this one as uh, h1 and this one has h1 plus h then uh, the potential on uh, region 1 will be mg h1 and potential on region 2 will be mg h1 plus h and the difference of the potential between the two which is mu1 minus uh, mu2 so this is our mu1 and this is our uh, mu2 so mu1 minus mu2 will be equal to minus mg h and then we can say that rho1 is equal to rho2 into exponential of mg h divided by kt so this is the whole term is this is important the whole term is in exponential so as you can see so they are mgh uh, because, uh, is a positive number so exponential should be greater than 1 so rho 1 should be greater than rho 2 so let's look at the concept again so the concept is that when you are closer to the earth you have less chemical potential because 
you are attracted to the earth and you are closer to the earth but when you go away from the earth your potential increases so your chemical potential increases or you are more unstable and therefore um, but you go to the higher region uh, because of the entropic effect so when you increase the temperature the entropic effect will increase and uh, so the entropic effect will result in some of the particles to stay in region 2 however the most of the particle will remain in the region 1 because of the uh, attraction to the earth surface so i hope this uh, tutorial will help and if you have any question please comment and uh, uh, i will see you in the next tutorial then thank you